Hey, what's up guys? It's Limbo here. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about if aim assist should be toned down, changed, nerfed, whatever you want to call it in Call of Duty. Recently, Apex Legends made a new patch to aim assist and nerfed it. And with it, they also removed flinch completely. And with this nerf on aim assist and the removal of flinch, they're making gunfights in Apex Legends more fair between keyboard and mouse players and controller players. And this update blew up on Twitter, Reddit, and YouTube with hundreds of people making their own statements and comments about the change and Call of Duty players chiming in and asking their communities if Activision and the Call of Duty dev team should do the same thing. And it's gotten so big to the point where there are literal Twitter wars talking about if aim assist is cheating. The entire conversation has changed from if it should be nerfed to if it's cheating or not. And if you're wondering what a majority of people have been saying before it's become a Twitter war, it was very 50-50. Some controller players want it reduced and changed so they can show that it's not aim assist that makes them good, but their own skill. Others who don't want the change to happen at all are saying that aim assist is in a good spot right now and keyboard and mouse players can have good aim if they work on it. They've also argued that the precision that keyboard and mouse players have with their mouse is an unfair advantage and that aim assist is needed to counteract that and to give every gunfight in Call of Duty from multiplayer to Warzone a fair chance between keyboard and controller players. I don't really get the conversation that keyboard and mouse players have an advantage with how precise they are with their mouse. Not every keyboard and mouse player is like Shroud and or like some Call of Duty FPS prodigy. And not everyone has the time to work on their aim. And with all these conversations and arguments happening on Twitter and Reddit and seeing some YouTube videos and comments, and I was wondering what's the good and bad that'll come if this were to ever happen. And I came down to this conclusion. Players who are good at Call of Duty will be completely fine. They'll just have to readjust to the aim assist, change and nerf. And once they get it down, they'll be fine. And I truly believe that some of these players who are good at Call of Duty may even play better due to the fact that aim assist is not that strong and there's more freedom in looking and aiming for them. And I thought as well that players who are bad at Call of Duty will suffer a lot. And in turn, some quote unquote bad players are usually casual players that only play for two hours throughout the week or four hours throughout the week. And since these casual players will not have the best aim and they're going to be performing worse and playing really bad, they might just end up quitting and leaving Call of Duty. Either way, no matter what good and bad that will come from this, if this were to ever happen, every controller player will be affected in some way. But, but in the end, no matter what change Activision and the Call of Duty dev teams do to aim assist, controller players who are good will find a way to get better and improve. And the people who needed aim assist will sink. And now I'm going to be talking about what I personally think should be done to aim assist in Call of Duty. I'm a controller player. I've always been a controller player, but I can also play keyboard and mouse. I, I think I actually haven't really played in a long time, but we could definitely try it out for a video. But I personally think that they should reduce it, but not by a lot, maybe like five to 10%, 12%. In turn, it'll make it less strong. And the reason I'm saying this is because there's been so many times where I've had a gunfight with somebody and the aim assist just ruins my aim completely. I usually aim at the upper shoulders or to the head. And with how aim assist is, sometimes it drags me down and or it's just too slow and too strong that I can't even lock onto the guy and be able to move my crosshair to him. Overall, I just want to see aim assist reduced a little bit and mainly want a remake of the entire aim assist setting system as it's way too complicated and not a lot of people are really understanding the system at all. And lastly, I'm going to be talking about what do I think will actually be done? And let's just be honest with ourselves. The way Activision runs its business and how Call of Duty dev teams just kind of fall into place with whatever Activision says, because, you know, they, they kind of have to. I feel like absolutely nothing will be done to aim assist. And it's mainly because of Activision and how they run their business with Call of Duty. They want players that are either bad, new, or just came back to the game to have quote unquote fun with the game in order to keep player retention. And with player retention, their player counts go up, they stay consistent, they increase, and Activision has a higher chance to have someone buy a skin, a battle pass, whatever. The only thing I see being done to aim assist is a slight change in the aim assist setting system that we already have. And I see that being more likely done than the devs and Activision changing aim assist itself. But who knows? I'm not a part of Activision or the dev team. No one is that has been commenting on this. But whatever happens to aim assist, I honestly know that I will be fine. In Black Ops 2 and in Modern Warfare 3, I played with no aim assist because snipers usually argued about it. And I was like, let me try it out. And I loved it. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, and comment down your thoughts on aim assist and if it should be changed or not in Call of Duty. But yeah, I love you guys and peace.